The number of migrants coming to Chicago has slowed considerably. Only five people are currently awaiting placement in shelters, and no buses are expected to arrive this afternoon from the southern border. But today, the Johnson administration began holding closed-door meetings at City Hall to brief older persons about a plan to authorize another $70 million to care for the new arrivals. According to Alderman Carlos Ramirez Rosa, who is briefed on the plan, the funds are needed as the city looks ahead to the Democratic National Convention in August. We've received intel from the border that as we get closer to the DNC, Republicans are going to ramp up the number of buses that they're sending to the city of Chicago to embarrass President Biden and to embarrass the city of Chicago as we host the Democratic National Convention. According to sources familiar with the plan, most of the money would come from a reserve fund set up for the migrants and the rest from rainy day funds. No other budgets would be reduced so as not to further alienate city council members already concerned about the amount of money being spent on migrants. We've seen opposition even come from some of the mayor's progressive allies. And so that does complicate the politics. In January, the mayor had committed to allocating the money in a joint agreement with the state and Cook County, but then backed out of the deal. The governor today appeared encouraged by the mayor's change of heart. And for those who complain about the expenditure that's being made, uh, let's be clear. First, this is just basic needs that people are getting. Nobody's getting any fancy, uh, you know, luxuries uh, out of this. Some aldermen still skeptical. Where are the needs? Um, what are the future needs? And how are we going to utilize these funds, taxpayers' dollars, in the correct way? The aldermanic briefings will continue for the next couple of days. The mayor's office hoping to win enough support to bring the funding proposal before the full city council for a vote next Wednesday. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.